to Welcome. our channel. Hello. So <laughs> today mm -hmm. we are going to be giving you some college slash sixth form advice because we've been there and we have done that. Yep. And we have picked up a lot of knowledge. We've had good and bad experiences. Have we? No. <laughs> Majority. Sh no, I'm not going to swear. <laughs> Majority very bad. Yeah. But the reason <laughs> is maybe because we didn't follow our own advice that we yeah, have now. Exactly. We're gonna take it in turns. We've got two each, and then we have one joint one. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you're going to college, or if you're just interested in basically how we messed up our whole college experience, yeah. carry on watching. Boom. <laughs> First one, which I think is more important than a lot of people say. Year twelve is really important. Like. I don't know, I really yeah. didn't take it that seriously. I tried my best because it was obviously different from high school, but I think I didn't revise as much as I should have. But some of my subjects balance out, so like the first year and the second year, they like mix together to make one grade. So it is really important to like focus on your year 12 work and really try and kind of treat it, treat both years as if they're the most important year. Yeah. Because they're important in their own ways, obviously. Year 13 is important in like setting you up for life, but like year 12 is important for setting you up for year 13. So like, yes, if you get there and it's like easier than you thought, don't like settle with that. Just uh -huh. like push pushing, yourself. Yeah, keep pushing yourself. You can always get a better grade and also what, mm -hmm. bouncing off what you said, like put, keep pushing yourself because when you get into the exam, you find that due to pressure I did anyway, I'll yes. go down automatically a grade anyway. So you want to get as high and high as you can so yeah. that that grade that you go down to is like not as bad. Yeah, definitely. My first one is very different from yours, yours is my educational. Mm -hmm. Mine is just be as open to making and talking to new people as possible mm -hmm. because I thought that when I went to college I was going to make so many new friends. I thought I'd have a whole new group of friends and it would be completely different. <laughs> But it wasn't like that at all. I found myself kind of like recoiling and like being a bit of a recluse in a lot of my lessons because a lot of people had already got friendship groups or people that they knew of because the college we went to was one where people would come from so many different yeah. schools, like all throughout the county and they would come to this one college. Yeah. So a lot of people were already coming with their own friends. But what I've realised is that doesn't mean that you can't then be their friend and join a friendship mm -hmm. group. College honestly isn't like going to be forever and in that moment it can feel like forever and you can think I've got to make all of my friends now but if you don't it doesn't matter but just try and be as open as possible. I will say like adding on to that it's okay to acknowledge that it's difficult Yeah. because I had a lot of people just tell me like just make friends just talk to people. Yeah. I would always because you know my dad well you guys don't but <laughs> me, you know, that's my dad and my dad is a very talkative person he will literally talk to anyone about anything like he'll have a food full food <laughs> He'll have a full blown conversation with the cashier. Like, he will talk to anyone. My dad's a bit like that too. But yeah, he'll talk to anyone. So, whenever I'd be like, look, I don't know why I'm not making friends, like, I can't do it, he'd always just be like, just talk to people. But I think it's okay to acknowledge that it is difficult, especially if you're that type of person. Mm -hmm. But what you're thinking, people are thinking, is probably not true. Like, I know that if someone came up to me in college, I'd be like, oh, thank God. Like, yeah. people are probably thinking the same things you are. Um, my next one is more towards year 13 students, so if you're going back to college or sixth form I actually got a little... <laughs> I thought I was going back for a minute Oh god, it was a while ago but it really doesn't feel like it, it sticks with you guys <laughs> <laughs> But if you're going back and you're starting to worry because I'm pretty sure they drummed uni into us like early on, like really early on Like I remember... September! Yeah! Like, September! <laughs> literally! Uh. And even before that, I remember near the end of the year, they were like, during the summer, make sure you draft your person's There statements. was a meeting when we had an AS level exam about uni. Yeah. We haven't even passed our <laughs> AS levels. And they were like, make sure you do your personal statement. Yeah, literally. Make sure, what they said, when you come back, you have to bring your um your tutor, your PBT, a freaking personal draft, the draft statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I literally remember that. And I was like, whoa, hold on, I just got here. Uh -huh. But if you are really like stressed and you're being forced to and like you feel like you want to sign up but you're not really sure you can <laughs> sign <literally>. up <laughs> but like do what Phoebe did she deferred a year like mm -hmm. don't let anyone 
force you into thinking that you have to go from no. college to uni because no. you don't have to do that at all. You can literally do anything you want and I feel like no one really tells you that because they want you it's, it's this is a bit of a conspiracy theory which is not meant for this video but i literally think it's that, true they want you to go to uni because every application that they fill out that this, the college fills out they get money from like as as much as getting money it looks good if like most of your class yeah is going off to yeah uni. if that's so, not right then <laughs> i'm sorry i made it up but i feel like that's right in my soul yeah i remember when we had to do tutorials which can i can anyone comment down below if you think tutorials are ridiculous as well like it's literally like 20 to 40 minutes out of your day for no reason mm -hmm. anyway um but i remember in tutorials they always used to talk about university they'd always be like have you done your personal statement have you done your UCAS? have you done this and that the you have to pay amount. to do that by the way which i think why are you forcing me to pay for my application like leave me alone i didn't have to pay for it until i got to having to pay for it <laughs> yeah and i wanted to like ring my ppt and be like ian this has turned into a rant we're literally right. uni students like i don't know why we're having so much of this but sometimes what they're telling you isn't always mm. the best option for you and you yeah. can feel so isolated in that moment it's like yeah but i don't want to do this like, mm. and you can feel so worried and panicked and then sometimes make a decision that doesn't even reflect what you want to do yeah but just know that in that moment a lot of college is compulsory but that is not compulsory not. so my last one is about about teachers basically okay. in college or sixth form you will find that your relationship with your teachers is very different you're normally only doing three to four a levels so you're not seeing as many different teachers they're mm -hmm. normally teaching like fewer classes so you're more familiar with them mm -hmm. i honestly think that my english teacher sarah is one of my favorite people ever oh. she was one of the best teachers ever 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 and if you needed her for anything she would always help you and always like be there and always give you the resources you needed but some teachers aren't like that and sometimes you don't have that bond with the teacher even if you don't feel comfortable putting your hand up in the lesson and saying what about this what about this you mm. have to because there's a certain teacher that i had i'm not going to say their name because i don't know if they would watch this if just imagine if they did that'd be so awkward oh okay who would always undermark me mm -hmm. um she undermarked me so much that i don't know if she undermarked me intentionally or whether the work i was producing just wasn't of the standard but it doesn't make sense logically in my head that all the practice papers i was doing i was getting c's d's e's like failing and then when i did the um the exam in the actual like a level i got an a in the um written part of it and all of those exams so far she had been grading me like lower so I always just think if I'd have spoken to her and asked her to break down my essays more clearly would that have like shown me that she was grading me right or that she wasn't and like would that have made me more confident going to the exam no matter how you feel about a certain teacher and whether you feel like they're they're like a good teacher for you and they teach you in the right way or whatever always ask them for help because yeah. at the end of the day they're the only ones that have done this course over and over and over again yeah. with so many other students like what can i do to make this better yeah because otherwise you're never gonna know you're literally never gonna know and yeah that's another thing that i didn't think would happen is i know that they kind of leave you leave you to your own devices more so than high school but i didn't realize just how much if you're doing practical subjects you will know what i mean like ah, oh my god no shade but like if you don't actively go and be like help me or like am i doing all right they usually won't tell you like, they'll just give you your actual grades but they won't be like uh -huh. this is how you're doing this is what i think you should do like mm -hmm. you need to ask utilize your teachers basically yeah, just utilize them so the last one is a bit more of a leisure a bit more of a, <laughs> leisure, a bit yeah. more swim yeah um <laughs> And it's just to have a look at what the extracurriculars that they offer at yes. your college slash sixth form are and just join one. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think, especially when you first go in the oh, up, yes, join one. Just one. Like, just you don't have to be like, ping -pong. I do cheerleading and then I do the school play and then I do the. Like, just choose one random Table one. Tennis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really join a club, I just did the show. For me, it was great and like. Yeah when i look back there's there were so many moments where i was like i wouldn't have this experience if i didn't do it yeah and i just think anything that it offers if it suits who you are if you're not a performer you can do film club you can mm -hmm. do 
Like, there's so, there's, actually, right, even if you don't want to do a club and you think, I want to stay focused on my studies, if they offer, like, an after school, like, or an after college revision yeah. thingy, because I know ours did that quite a lot during yeah. the end of the year, it's very difficult to just meet people. Like, when I think of my uni experience and the people that I've met, I didn't meet them because of the actual course. So it's very difficult in college to meet people if you're not getting on with people in your actual yeah, like lessons. classes. So yeah. if you want to meet more people, it's more likely that you're going to meet them in your clubs or extracurriculars or like things that you help out help them help mm -hmm. out with. So if you want to, I don't know some. I know some six forms in particular um, have like committees where you can help out with prom. What do you call it when they're like not class presidents, but like oh, uh, like student leaders yeah literally utilize everything like mm. utilizing your teachers is just one of them but utilizing your equipment the facilities that the yes. college or sixth form has so. i used the library like once before my um <laughs> performance study exam i mean yeah. hey I'm, i i oh, did better so use, use the, the library. library yeah wrap that it yeah. up that's it so that's so, it i hope we have <laughs> Um, it was a bit random to be honest, can you tell we had a bad experience? We did have a bad experience <laughs> but there are elements to every college experience that are good and that yeah. shape you as a person and obviously you can learn from these things. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up, if you have any comments make sure to leave them down below. If you're new to this channel and want some more go over and subscribe. All of our social media will be linked down below, make sure to follow us, we love you so much, goodbye! Bye! That's the first time I've ever done it! Whee! See her up there as you're nearing her, all the while hearing her.